Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about swapping. So, what happens, as we already know that, a process to be executed should be in main memory. But uh, what happens, uh, sometimes uh, a process which is in main memory, it has to be swapped out in backing store temporarily. And after some time, that process will be brought back in uh, main memory to complete its execution. For example, consider a multi-programming environment in which a round-robin scheduling algorithm is used. Right? Now suppose uh, that a process is being executed uh, by the CPU and uh, the quantum expires. So when the quantum expires, uh, the process has to release the CPU. Right? Now this process can be swapped out to backing store and some other processes can be brought back in main memory. Right, so that uh, uh, they can be executed. Right, so similarly, you can see another example. Suppose a high priority process has arrived. Right, and uh, the memory is full. Right, the main memory is completely occupied, and there is no free space available for that high priority process. So, what will happen? Some uh, low priority processes will have to swap out from main memory to backing store so that uh, the new high priority process can be loaded in main memory and it can be executed right so what happens in swapping we need to be concerned about some issues one is that a process which is to be swapped out that must be completely idle right now suppose there is a process and it is waiting for some input output operation and uh, if we swap out uh, that uh, process which is waiting for some input output pro uh, operation to backing store then what will be its drawback right now consider a process p right suppose there is a process p and it is waiting for some input output operation and we have swapped out this uh, process p to backing store right now the memory which was occupied by this process p it is free right now suppose some other processes have brought in main memory and some other process has occupied that memory space which was occupied by process p right now what will happen when this input output operation is completed it will try to access the memory space which was previously occupied by process p but now this memory space is occupied by some other process right so here it will be a problem right so whenever a process is to be swapped out to backing store it should be completely idle